Hi everyone, welcome to my very echoey bathroom. Sorry about the audio in this video already, we're off to a great start, but it's because today I'm sharing with you my bathroom makeover. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Hermione. I'm currently renovating an old Victorian house. It's taking its time, but I'm trying to do a lot of it on a budget and do a lot of DIYs. So today I'm gonna to be sharing the whole bathroom makeover from start to finish. And it's been a long time in the making. Such a long time that actually about three or so months ago, it was livable and um, we've just been living with it for a while and not finishing it. So. Let's jump in at the deep end. I want to kind of refresh your memory of what this looked like when we first moved into the house. So as you can see, the bathroom when we first got the keys, on the surface it looked okay, but it was actually really old and broken and rusty and kind of very smelly. And it just wasn't the kind of bathroom you'd really wanna live in, to be honest. So the first thing that we had to get done is have everything ripped out, the laminate flooring, the tiles on the walls, the bathroom suite, everything. When the tiles on the walls came off, we realized they brought a lot of the plaster off the walls with them. So we had to get a plasterer to re-plaster all the walls as well. So um, as you can see, this is what it looked like at that stage before plastering. Once it was plastered, we could get on with painting it. I showed you guys a bit of this in the DIYery series. We also had the tiles put in, which was such a big step forward. And then we were able to get the bathroom suite put in. It's nothing fancy, it's just something I picked out of a catalog that was quite budget friendly. I believe it's the K-Vit collection. I'll try and have a look online for you because I'm actually really impressed. It was quite a decent budget range bathroom and we have some quite nice fixtures that go with it that I think look a little bit more expensive than it actually is. Not sponsored, I just, I really like this bathroom. After the bathroom suite was in, we did a few little touches to make it feel a bit more usable. We put up curtains and some window frosting for privacy. A while back I put this window film on the window, just the bottom half, not the top half because you can't even see out the top half anyway. And this just was from Amazon, it was really cheap. I didn't film me doing it because it was actually really difficult. The instructions made it sound so easy but you had to uh, spend a long time getting the bubbles out. But yeah, it's just literally a piece of sticker that sticks on the window and it solves the problem without having to get a brand new window that's already frosted. This was five pounds from a charity shop. That's gonna go there. We placed this towel rail next to the sink so that we'd have somewhere to dump our hand towels so they wouldn't end up on the floor or the side of the sink or somewhere else. So that brings us to recently. The bathroom was livable, it was great, but it wasn't finished. So this is what it looked like about a week ago. As you come in, we have our towel rail with the towels. That's perfect. Sink works really well, nice storage, but we could do with a little bit more storage here. I installed this new light cable. Toilet roll holder fell off, need to fix that. I had my carpenter build this box to cover some pipe work and it's great for storage, but as you can see, we're not really utilizing that very well. I've got some pieces of board here that I want to install in the alcove as shelving. Over here is the bath, it's just your average bath. I do need to give it a clean, <laughs> but I want to find a way to store some of those products away because they just kind of get a little junky looking. Not bad, not bad, but we had no mirror, no storage solutions at all, and it just, it needed a little bit of a little bit of making over to make it feel really like relaxing and the kind of place you want to take a bath. So without further ado, let's jump into some of the DIYs and the projects that I did last week to get this bathroom looking better. I had a lot of pieces that just needed a fresh coat of paint before putting them in place. I started this a few days earlier to give them time to dry. The first piece is this simple IKEA mirror that I actually found in a charity shop for a few pounds. I've put the mirror up and I think it looks pretty good. It took a couple of days to fully dry because I used a gloss paint, the same kind that I used on the door. 
but I think it looks nice. With the mirror done, I moved on to paint the back of the door. This actually never got painted with the rest of the room as it had been removed from its hinges while the painting was being done. The box that covers the pipes also needed a coat of paint and so did the shelves that fit above it. These needed priming before the gloss paint as the MDF is really porous and it soaks up all the paint. These sheets of MDF actually become the shelves in that alcove. I just had these cut at my local hardware store and then painted them. Fast forward and the shelves are in and they're great. I love them. I didn't show me actually drilling the fixtures into the wall. They're just like little um, brackets that the shelf fits on because it took me about two hours because the walls were so thick. But they're in and I did it. I promise you I did it. <laughs> This guy is actually from Aldi, like about a year ago I bought it on sale for £10 and it's great but I think I'm going to paint the wood part because although it's really nice it just doesn't go with the bathroom. So I'm going to paint it in this dove grey chalk paint which is also from Aldi. <laughs> The thing I love most about chalk paint is that you really don't need to sand or use a primer underneath. I mean, you can if you want, but it sticks really well to most furniture and it's so easy to use. First coat is done. After putting the shelf unit in place, I moved on to another DIY project, which thankfully didn't include any painting because I was getting really tired of it. My next idea was to create a bath tray. I DIY'd one for my last bathroom, but wanted a new and improved one. I took an old piece of wood, which is actually the same one from the last bath tray, and I sanded it down completely. I marked with a pencil the line where the wood hung over the bath so I could cut the excess. I also marked lines on either side of the bath on the inside. This will be where I add wooden support battens so it doesn't fall into the bath. I cut the excess with a jigsaw and cut the two pieces of batten to the same size as the width of the tray. I then took them back upstairs to screw them in place. To screw them in, I flipped the tray over. I drilled pilot holes into the batten and the tray and then I use screws to secure the battens into place. With that done, I gave the piece a clear coat of varnish to seal the bare wood and prevent any water damage. It was dry within a few hours and then I was able to style it in place in the bathroom. And for another small project, I took these two alphabet hooks that I picked up a while ago in Oliver Bonus, on sale of course, and I spray painted them to match the chrome finish that we already have in the bathroom. Once they were dry, I screwed them into place on either side of the back of the door. I did leave the original hook in place in the middle, just in case we have guests that need to use it, and partially because it had so many layers of the paint that I couldn't get to the screws to take it off. <laughs> With all of that done, it was time to style the place. So here's a little montage of my favorite part of any makeover. I filled these jars from Flying Tiger with cotton buds and cotton rounds. I always feel like putting like items in uniform jars or storage solutions make the space feel a lot less cluttered. Similarly, I also decanted some of my conditioner into a clear dispenser from Ikea as I hate leaving bottles upside down to get all of the product out, they just end up falling in the bath. As for the rest, it's just small finishing touches to make the space feel more cosy and organised. I can't tell you how nice it is to have a shelf that I can actually use for storing spare towels and things. This shelf turned a somewhat useless corner into a space that's actually very handy for storage. And it's also nice to be able to display my knickknacks in here. You know I can't have a shelf without styling it with useless things. <laughs> I would have loved a real plant in here, but there's not really enough sunlight, so I made do with this fake one from Ikea. And now, finally, here is the bathroom in its fully finished glory. I am so pleased with the space and how the whole project turned out. 
It was a room that at one point I thought was never gonna get done and that it would never feel clean or new or like a space that I'd actually want to spend time in. But look at it now, I feel like it's come through such a massive transformation and I'm so pleased with the final result. So that's everything for today's video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. It's been a while since I've done a full makeover in this house. I think that's partially because it's been really difficult since we've moved in, but also because I want to stagger out the content a little bit. I don't want to run out of things to do, but I kind of want to do makeovers in other people's houses, like maybe my family's or something. So let me know if you'd like to see that. If you haven't already, don't forget to hit the subscribe button so that you can be informed of all my future videos and all of that good stuff. And um, then I'll be able to see you next week too. So anyway, I hope you guys have a great week and I'll see you next time. Bye.